Okay, today I have Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. I got this game on eBay and it doesn't work. So I'm going to show you how to fix this game so it does work. I've already tried to clean it um, and it does not help out. Okay, I'm going to turn this on now to see if it works after cleaning it. Nothing. The reason why it is broke uh, if you can see right here, that part is um, broken out, so there's no contact between um, this and this one right here. So that's the reason why it is broke and doesn't work. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking out these parts and putting them into this donor cartridge. Um, it is the exact same cartridge. Um, you can tell by looking at this number right here, those two match. So I just need to take out the ROM, which I believe I think are, is this one right here. I'm going to just swap them all out um, just to be safe. So first off, um, I have have an extractor right here that will extract all of the um, solder out of it all of the this metal stuff that's in there right now so what you do this I got this at Radio Shack it works pretty well it's not perfect but um, it does the job so what you do is you set it right here, let it warm up, suck it up. You got to do that with each one. Okay, so this just slides out, and we're going to keep that right there, and we'll keep it right here. Now we're going to do this next one. Okay, so this is your old cartridge. Put it over here. This is going to be our donor cart. Cart. We want to be especially um, just careful with this so it doesn't get damaged. So I got that one out. I just got to get this one out right here. Okay, now it's all out, ready to be put, put back in. I'm just going to unplug this because it does get pretty hot. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting these in. Make sure to put them upside down. Just like that. And I'm going to set them down right here. Okay, next I'm going to use some solder wire. Um, you want to use a core that has um, some flux inside of it. This one's got 2%. Um, that just makes it stick better. And 
And what I usually do is Go to look at it, make sure um, there's no holes. It's got a good contact. Some of these I gotta touch up. Okay, so I got that all finished. Um, as you can see, they look a lot better. You want to make sure none of these are touching each other. I'm just looking at it. I do see I need to do this one, this one. You can just kind of touch them up a little bit. So a big problem you can have doing this is that um, these points like this one and this one, the, uh, the metal can be touching each other, the solder. Um, so you want to make sure that doesn't happen. There's spaces between all of these. Um, this one looks pretty good. Okay, so the next thing to do is to just test this out and see if it works. So let's go test it out and we'll see um, if that fixed it. I plugged it in and I'm turning it on and let's see if it works now. I got a baby jumping up and down because she's so excited to watch this. And yep, it does work. So, that's all you have to do to fix those scans that do not work.